I'm going to be looking at the HTC Evo 4G running the Cyanogen 6 mod. Um, I said I wasn't going to do it, but you know, it's so fast that I had to try it out. I like the, I like the HTC Sense mods, but you know, this is Froyo, so I mean, what are you going to do? Um, here's the custom Cyanogen boot screen. Um, if you can get close enough to look, which this camera is junk, you're probably not going to be able to. There's a little Android of that X, which obviously you can't see anything because this camera sucks. Here's the lock screen. You have the lock and your cyanogen home screen. Um, it's, I mean, it's super fast. I mean, at pretty much everything, I'll let it load for a second. But, I mean, it really is fast at doing everything that you need it to do. Um, yeah, it's still loading. There you go, it's some widgets I customized. Uh, back to the home screen. Um, got, you know, different stuff I customized on here. Uh, it's running the ADW launcher. Um, you know, which is pretty smooth in and of itself. Um, I'm not getting much response back from this for some reason. Okay, there's your apps. Uh, another thing is that it turns sideways, okay, like the other ones don't turn sideways. This one turns sideways when you turn it, you know, unlike the regular Evo. Um, it's pretty, it's a pretty smooth phone. But it's smoother with Froyo 2. Uh, Android 2.2 Froyo on top of it. You know the benchmarks are like 38. You know each time you're probably not gonna be able to see it on this crappy camera that I have. But you know it's got the blue custom Nexus One um, wallpaper. Um, the phone is like like this now. Um, there's other customizations that it has. Um, like the camera is different now. I know some people said they had trouble with it, but you know the camera works for me. I mean, as you can see, and this is no by no means the final um, edition. Um, also, another thing that they said. Um, they had trouble working was the uh what is it um the road sms and um i'm gonna show you right here i mean there's no issues with it whatsoever i mean you see it's working for me so whoever had that problem i'm not exactly sure and another thing there's all types of instructions on how to load this um you know you have to do the cyanogen 6 mod then you have to do the radio then you have to do the Wii Mac then you have to do Google Apps I mean it's pretty simple if you just go to um, your okay if you download a ROM manager okay and I'm gonna show you what that is right now for those that don't know this is your ROM manager right here I'm gonna open it and it says download ROM okay you go to download ROM and it's going to give you some different um, um, options. You know, you have fresh, damage control, and smoke. And right at the bottom, you have Cyanogen Mod Nightly. And I don't know if you can see it very well, but you push that, and it's going to load a bunch of different ones. Okay, and then the top one is the newest one. It's 7-24-2010. Okay, 
can't really see it very well and you just download it and it's gonna do its job after it's done downloading you don't have to go through all that stuff a lot of people are making this a lot harder than it, than it actually has to be and I don't know why uh, as you can see I'm running it perfectly and that's what I did you know obviously you have to wipe your phone but it's gonna do give you that option after you download it through the ROM manager so I, again I'm sorry for the video quality I know it sucks but I wanted to get this up and give a little input on there and show people that it really is I mean it's 20 times faster once it loads it's you know it's it's, it's fast as you know I don't I don't know what you know there are a few issues with forced close on certain apps you know every now and then but I mean honestly it's it's to me it's nothing to worry about it's got bugs and he's gonna fix them so you know if you just try it out that's fine if you want to wait until the final build is out that's that's good too but you know I'm just saying that it's it's a pretty good build already you, you know you're just gonna have oh the uh here you got your your keyboard okay that um he, he put on this this is the custom Android keyboard it's a little different than the stock Evo and then also you have your web page okay your your browser which is cool because it links up to what you do on your computer so say you're searching for something on Google then it links up to this page right here so when I go on Google and I search it already has all my searches on there and everything it's a different browser from the stock Evo also so thank you very much uh, sorry again that the pictures blurry but I just you get the picture I'm out